excuse me. <laughs> Let me um Okay, let me just read this. Um, the West presents a distorted view of Russians and Russian history. Western propaganda. Uh, portrays Russians as evil, the barbarian hordes to fear and see as a threat. Oh. Western propaganda portraying Russians as evil barbarian hordes to fear and see as a threat has brainwashed most people in the West. Here's a dis good discussion of this uh, point about like how uh, even during the Cold War and uh, Salt Solzhenitsyn. I haven't read anything about him, but all these uh, people who, whom the West sort of puts on a pedestal, like look, these are these, look how bad Russia is, the evil communistic, you know. So I think we need to. I suggest Westerners, the the everyday people, look to different sources of information uh, on Russian history and culture. And I think it's good, I think it's because of the internet we can have at least access to these different sources, points of view. Um, so that's a good thing. I think that's one thing the internet has really helped is to deprive uh, elites of the opportunity to uh, control the narrative because now the narrative can be challenged and I think that's a good thing. Western elites are destroying the US financial system. Politicians are corrupted by lobbyists. This is a good uh, example of you know how the recent passage of the 95 billion dollar <laughs> national you know the bill for Ukraine, Israel and uh, Taiwan and it's this is in Russian. You have to, you can go to Google Translate and translate from Russian to English. It's some some good points. The whole system has become corrupted. What I'm saying here is nothing new. Uh, the cabal funds think tanks who then produce papers which are like marketing material, which are then sold to politicians to push to push policies that increase profits of the military industrial complex, energy, you know, banking, these kinds of things. This is so insidious. See how much death and destruction they cause. The the reason this keeps on going is no one gets to feel any consequences for these actions. They'll keep this so they keep on doing it. This is really horrible. Other countries have to tread carefully because the US is powerful. They have to be the adults in the room. This is so enraging. Do you feel how these other countries must be feeling? How do they feel? And how do they feel like that the US is so powerful, but it's controlled by all these lobbyists and you know it's the whole political system is so manipulated and there is no no one pushing back. There are no consequences. So people just say, Oh, you know. They just pass these policies and they ruin other countries, bomb them, uh, regime change, you know, do all this oppression. But because no one, there aren't any consequences, they keep on doing it. And then it must be so enraging. So I believe Putin is the modern JFK. He, along with Z, are trying to advocate for a multipolar world to balance and counteract Western hegemony. Uh, this is, uh, I haven't read this article. I'm not just, uh, just. I mean, I think it's sort of skimmed it. Maybe did I skim it? I think maybe I skimmed it. Yeah, you know, I, I, you know, he's, uh, the West. The West wants to keep their dominance. And the, he, the West wants to tell China how much it can develop. The Russia wants to destroy Russia, so it's not a military threat. They're trying to uh, keep everyone else down. <sighs> Putin is said to meet Xi soon. 
Will the Cabal try to do a decapitating strike when both leaders and their entourage are meeting? Cannot be ruled out. <laughs> I mean, I do tend to get a little bit paranoid or maybe, but I think this is something the national security... Uh, the security establishment, the intelligence, the people are... The normal people we, um, may say, oh, this is just paranoia. But this is something they all have to be concerned. Because we see that movie in The Godfather, uh, you know, that scene where there was this meeting between the mob bosses and then the, the, the helicopter came and killed them all. <laughs> you know, they do decapitating strikes. You know, they killed JFK. Why did they kill JFK? Because he wanted to bring peace between Russia and the USA. They wanted to go into the space and create a peace and they, they didn't want that, so they killed him. So th th these bad guys, the cabal, the elites, the the ones who want to make the continue the profit, and you know, they they have motivations to do things like this. So I'm just concerned because if you think about the what happened to the MH370, you know, that orb weapon. What if they use another orb weapon to disappear Putin's plane while he's traveling to China? I just hope they have arrangements in pray in place, for, you know, just to uh, like a backup. You know, I don't know. I mean, if if something like that happens, you know, it's, uh, it'd be like another JFK man. It'd be another JFK. These people don't want peace because they want to keep on the war. They want to maintain their dominance and they will do operations like that if they can get away with it. And because they, they think no one's going to attack them, you know, they think that, oh, even if we do a decapitating strike, there's no, no one's going to attack us because we've got the biggest nukes. I mean, this, is a, this is the danger. When these people think they can act with impunity, the, the other people, the, the world is like, you know, doesn't have a chance at freedom because they will they will do whatever it takes to maintain their power so you know it's con i am concerned i am concerned yes i am concerned <laughs> i want there to be a fair multipolar world i'm not saying russia is perfect or china is perfect you know i just think that there should be more more balance i don't think the west should have ruled a roost i think other countries should be allowed to develop and get strong I think the the West should focus on its own issues internally. America has to stop trying to control the world and you know, focus on itself, try and build its own economy, its own industry. You know, I think that's what I think should happen. And just leave other countries alone. Let them do their own trade amongst themselves. Stop trying to sanction people and telling them who they can trade with, who they cannot do. Because you, as of this climate change, I think it was just a, just an, a, a lie, a ruse, a scam. It's to prevent developing countries from developing. From uh, it's to keep them in their place. That's just another scam uh, to keep uh, to keep Western hegemony. That's what I think is <laughs> what that whole bloody thing was uh, uh, things of you know I don't know what's going to happen in the future you know I'm sure the Russians have backup plans the Chinese have backup plans you know they they, they, they might go you know they might go into martial law you know I'm pretty sure they, they would have th uh, thought about this what to do if this happens if that happens so, but it's, it's like we're living in a very dangerous world because there are people out there who are just so greedy. Uh, you know, they, they, when people have power, they don't want to let go of power. You know, they will they will hold on to the power as long as, as as strong as they can, and you know, they want to like they don't want to just be constructive and they want to maintain their power they want to maintain the hierarchy the, the 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 hegemony they don't want they don't want to just work together in cooperation uh.